Greetings, devastees of destruction, and welcome back to the Atomic Playground and Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Objection! Good job, Ruben. You got it right this time. <laughs> that was too much of a pause. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still you still caught what I was fishing for, so. All right. All right. This is it's all you. Oh no! I said this line last time. Oh wait, did we? Yeah. Oh okay. Still you, though. Yeah. <laughs> Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against testimony like that. <laughs> Mr. Gentleman, why was it the phone in the victim's apartment? <laughs> Where did... Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Or the phone supposed to work during the blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Howitt used was one of these. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Dude, blackout. the defense should have had access to all of this evidence Ish. before this... You... I'm no lawyer, but I tend to agree. Blackout record added to the court... Wait, yes, blackout record added to the court record. Somehow that seemed wrong, but yeah. it was right. The record was added to the record. No, Mr. Wright! Yes, er, <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. So let me in your cross examination. C cross examination, Your Honor. Oh my goodness! All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, <laughs> oh, your voice. <laughs> if the rest of you didn't look like that, it would it would be unbearable. <laughs> Should I change her voice? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why? You exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave! Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Y yes, right. Phoenix, right. must have lied in his testimony. <laughs> or is your client really guilty? Wah! Exclamation point. <laughs> How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there! <laughs> it just hurts so much! <laughs> just hurts! <laughs> ah, why? <laughs> Not more lies! First, find a contradiction! <laughs> Will someone shut this woman up? Just, First, it's... find the contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present to the mother the witness's face! Ouch. I was, I was watching the readout there. It was all the way up to the red the whole time. <laughs> Oh! Uh. Uh. <laughs> Let me pause for a moment. I need some water. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right. Now that Ruben's back from getting his water after blowing his vocal cords out, <laughs> we can resume the episode. Um. Okay. Open the court record with the R button. What is this R button you keep talking about? I don't know. It's part of the script. <laughs> <laughs> then 
and point out contradictions in the testimony. Fade to black. Oh, I don't like this guy. Witnesses account. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when they saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange. I looked inside the apartment and I saw her lying there. I love him. Not living. I crawled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment was an argument. Uh, okay. I went to the nearby park and found a public phone now. Oh, Hold it! Well, you see, I don't know how I saw it. And maybe in the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer at the nearby apartment. Hey, that was supposed to be at 6 o'clock. Yeah. Alright, uh, what time did you call again? I don't remember. Hold it. One o'clock p.m., are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Hmm, he seems really confident. One o'clock p.m.? Sorry, right. I jumped the gun on that one. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him! I am going to present, um, yes, the electricity. Here's an extra. Objection! This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, exactly, the evidence evidently aren't statement, not just now, unrelated. Uh, they yeah. aren't, are they? Yeah. Ooh, wow, okay. Oh, you lost several words. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. That's all of it. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. Oh, all right, that's here, sorry. Examine the court record with the R button. I'm immediately re-sorry. <laughs> if something strikes you as being suspicious, then... Find the evidence that contradicts his testimony and present it to the court! Uh, we gotta start over. Door. Okay, if he's going door to door, so a fair thing. He's not a Yeah, he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Okay. I'm just gonna press him on this. It's gotta be something. <laughs> wow. True words have never been spoken. Anyone would look inside. Hmm. Why did Payne cut him off so quickly? Sue looked into the apartment. What happened then? Yeah, inside. if he, if he, yeah, if he didn't, so you didn't touch anything in the apartment. Aha. Uh -huh. Got him. Oh, uh, uh, which one? Uh, yes. Oh, I mean, I mean, no. I see. Okay, what happened next? Um. I thought the bubble was immediately. Yeah, but. Hold on, no, that. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. <laughs> it does? Oh, I don't see anything contradicting. 
Uh, really? Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. I'm going to cross the river for you. Ah! Wow, okay, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I knew thought to call the police. Okay, okay, so he got thought to call the police. However, the phone in the apartment wasn't working, okay, because so, of the blackout. But he t uh, oh, he saw that the phone wasn't working. He didn't need to touch the phone. Wait, he didn't, he yeah, said he didn't he's, want to go Yeah, he already said he didn't go in. The phone in her apartment wasn't working? Yes, I, I mean, no. No, it wasn't. <laughs> But you said you didn't go into the apartment. Or did you? Uh, uh, oh, 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 that? Uh, uh, I, can, I can explain that. Uh, there was a cordless phone on a shelf in, in the entrance way. Uh, I reached inside and tried to, you tried to, tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? But if the power is out, shouldn't that affect the phone? Yeah. Time of death. Wow, what's the one on the left side? Yes. I don't believe I was in the answer. Okay. Yeah. Objection! Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. Ah, oh, crap. It does? Uh, it does? Oh, yeah. come on. Objection. Really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, because this. For, oh no, no no that one says noon to six p.m. Yeah, so it's so, one o'clock p.m. Yeah, so it does it does count. I don't know what this was without a doubt. How could he know that? That's all. Yeah. Great. What am I missing? Oh. I'm missing something. I'm sure it's another uh, uh, another one of those things that is like flashing light, neon obvious. I know. I'm just too dense to see it. Everyone watching is going to be like, guys. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> you idiots. Alright, let's try it. Go ahead and go to your cell subscriptions. When I saw that, I'm going to hurt her. I'm just going to hurt her because he left the door happen. Why would he say that? Okay. Let's try to get a partner. Okay, what do I, what do I have? I've got... Autopsy. Yeah. Statue of the Thinker. The passport. And the blackout record. That's all that I have. So autopsy, statue, passport. Okay. Wailed in front and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. Okay. However, the phone in the apartment wasn't working. Okay, we pressed him on that. Yeah. And then he says, well, I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Blackout. We already did the one PM, right? Yeah. So it was from out from noon to six. Remember the time exactly? It was one o'clock PM. It doesn't make sense. If there was a blackout, blackout, he shouldn't have been able to call the phone. The man who ran was without a doubt the doubt. That's all of it. Doesn't make sense. What am I missing? Phoenix Wright, you insidious monster! Uh, Find the evidence that contradicts his testimony and present it to the court. Okay, going to our door sell subscriptions. Let's check, let's just go per screen, we'll look at all the evidence. Alright. Well, there's nothing really to contradict that. Autopsy. Uh, oh, wait a minute! What? 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's what it is. Okay, so it, da 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 oh, She was dead. Yeah, yeah it helps time. if you look at the evidence. I know, right? Let's look at the, look at the time screen. Yeah, yeah, I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in the apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Run yeah. time exactly. Okay, now present this evidence, the autopsy report. Objection! Objection! You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? <laughs> yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, there, no body to find at 1 p.m. <laughs> How do you explain this three-hour gap? Ding! Oh, 
Uh-oh. This is trivial. The witness was n the witness merely forgot the time. Time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, uh, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time is probably coming from the television. <laughs> oh, oh, but it was it was three hours off, wasn't it? Uh, I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. <laughs> Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she couldn't have been watching anything because the power was out. We <laughs> heard a voice say the time on a tape program. This is right. You may cross examine the witness. Right! <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> you know what to do! I do. I I've got that. I've got it. this one! <laughs> Quit stepping on my line. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. I'm ambitious. <laughs> I've got this one. Time of discovery. Cross examination. Well, this one's not very. Oh, not very. Yeah, by the way, there's a voice saying the time. It's probably coming from the television. Yeah, no, that's the, the time of. Yeah. Hold it. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? That's stupid. What kind of objection is that? Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right? I can't put my finger on it, but something about this seems... fishy. Uh, <laughs> man, if your shirt wasn't cropped so low. <laughs> Just testified he heard the time. Oh, this the hours off, wasn't it? Yeah, they were watching a video of a taped program. Is that there, the time? Yes. Objection! Objection. Got him. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery, and this record proves it. Ding. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. find out what he remembers next, next week. week. like to have all the evidence presented and uh, available for perusal before the trial starts. I know, right? Be nice. I saw something. 
Wow. What the heck?